Hello everyone and welcome back to Rimworld and of course to the Song of Fur and Steel where we have a number of things going on that we need to deal with. Uh, first and foremost, currently we've got a psychic drone here, which isn't particularly good, and also a broken down heater, and so many other things that are going wrong in this particular part of the world. Uh, over with Dark Avac, though, things are going decidedly better. Uh, and over in Stygian Sanctuary, again, decently though, we do have some problems starting to brew, and namely um, regarding the food for our animals that I'm a little bit worried about. So let's start as we mean to go on. Nice and calm. Oh, horror story. What are you up to? Uh, you're actually over here. You know what? Let's let's cancel that job. But as I was saying, uh, nice and calm. Let's start with uh, something new. Let me just clear your... Um, your tasks there. We do have some work down here. But the first thing I'd like to do is give Costa a name. So, uh, Chaotocles has already decided on who would be the winner here. And the winner is a person by the name of Oliver Danielson, who has asked that the colonists be named Ruska, uh, which isn't actually too far from Costa. Well, actually, yeah, it's very far, very different letters, but it, it, it's not that far when you say it aloud. So there we are. Welcome to the colony. Ruska. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Uh, right, now with that done, um, okay, well there's a few things that we're not doing over here. We need to get all of these things built, and that means we've got to do some mining as well. Oh, there are so many things to do. Uh, okay, well, the first thing... I'm starting to get a little bit paranoid about how easily approachable this base is from so many different angles. I'd much rather funnel my enemies into a single direction. So let's start off with something easy. We'll build out a little area here. I'm going to leave two doors simply so that I can... Uh, if someone is attacking one of these doors, then I can have someone go around the other side and shoot them. Fairly, fairly simple little design there. Uh, other than that, now having these bodies in here is going to be causing issues for everyone who, who actually does mind seeing a corpse. So I may have dark averages. Go ahead and cut them up. It's going to upset a few people, but uh, it's just something that we're going to have to let happen. Now with that going on, you know what? We, we, we want to leave this place. Uh, why haven't these been built? I've uh, got everything there. Perhaps I can just get you to, uh... Oh, constru construction skill too low. Okay. How much do they need? I didn't even realize that was a thing. Construction si uh, six. Okay, well, how close are you guys to having that kind of construction skill? Uh, you've got a construction skill of three, so that's very far away. And Valerie... Five, that's not too bad, but you have no passion for it, so you learn at a third the rate of, not, of someone who does actually want it. You know what? We intend to leave this place anyway. I think it's high time we just, we just decided to leave. So, let's go ahead and... We're going to need to pack some food for the road. Uh, first and foremost then, Valerie, please start cooking. Next up, my mouse doesn't want to work for some reason. Uh, Atlas, could you bury Forbidden? Okay. Uh, let's get the corpse unforbidden then. Could you no empty grave? All right. Let me set all of this up for you then. Uh, we want storage. And we want this for animal corpses. My lord, my mouse really doesn't want to work with me today for some reason. Uh, there we go. That should work now. So, Atlas, could you get that all happening there? Nice and cheery-like. We'll even speed up time a little bit for you. There we go. I'm, I'm not going to leave without without Mohawk being buried. Let's have a look. Poor sarcophagus. Oh, well, I guess that isn't, isn't amazing, certainly, but... Uh, Oh, right. I see why my mouse wasn't working properly. It had all of the uh, the DPI settings changed. It thought I was trying to snipe someone. Silly mouse. But there we are. Hungry suffering. An engraving on the sarcophagus illustrates uh, uh, Tromfim Castro, 
brutally incapacitating a husky with a quick, efficient movements. Four eels look on. There is a small town in the background, while the style is geometric with purest elements. The depiction relates to the knocking unconscious of the husky by Trovim on the 13th of December, May. Uh, right. Okay. December, rather. That's unfortunate, to be certain. Uh, so many bodies around here. Honestly, let's just cook some food and leave. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, Dark Armag is currently working on some of the uh, cushions there. Very nice. Uh, you know what? Let's get all of the dead man's apparel out of here. We don't want it there. Let's get that to be moved. All of it. There we go. Right. The other thing I would like to do. Let's actually have a look at the restrictions. Ah, yes. As expected. Let's get this sorted out, shall we? In fact... Hmm. I would like enforced joy around 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, so, <laughs> 8 p.m., that would be interesting. Uh, to 8 a.m. I would like five units of work, at least. A break, so that you can do what you want. Um, in fact, let's, let's draw that out until 8 o'clock. But I'm going to give you a break in the middle. That way, if you have anything you, you specifically need to take care of, you can there. And then you can choose to do what you want. If you're tired, you can go to, go to bed. A bug have has reproduced itself, and we got a raid. Well, that's rather worrisome. Ah, uh, that's fine. Uh, where's this raid, though? It looks like they're going to use sappers to turn around your defenses. What defenses? <laughs> All right. Looks like we've got a bit of a problem here, then. Okay, um... No, we should be able to handle this, I, I would imagine. Valerie, how are you doing? Oh, my lord, you need food. Can you stop what you're doing and eat? Atlas, let's get you down here. Actually, Atlas, go and eat. Let's try and get this, this going. Now, it's going to be a bit rough for us. All right, Valerie, I'm afraid we're going to need you over there. And Atlas, I would like you down here if you could. What are they actually going to try and sap through? Because there's not really much here for them to sap. Oh dear. Oh, my my cows. No, no. Safety, go to safety, you silly, you silly bovines. And the Triumph Army are arriving in drop pods nearby. Really? Ah. Uh... Well, everything just went to hell in a handbasket. But all right. I'll give it a few moments. Uh, I, th I think that bovine is, is a goner. I don't think there's a lot we can do about that one. I'm afraid they they are already gone. Uh, at the very least, we can do a bit of damage there, though. Uh, right, how many have we got? We've got a lot coming this way as well. They've got... Uh, yeah, once again, they, they're kind of well-equipped. Uh, thankfully, we've got a Chaos, a Yoko, a Dark Avak, and a Horror Story here to deal with the Scallywags. Horror Story, let's head down there. Ruska, let's get over there. That should be good enough. They'll take a little while to get near. Um, Valerie, honestly, you're in a fairly good position there. You'll win that fight, I fancy. Where are they going? I have no idea. But they're headed somewhere. Uh, Heart, you're really messed up. Your sight is okay, though. Oh, here they come. Now. Oh! Dodge! Dodge! Dodge, dodge, dodge. Uh, draw back. Draw back, Valerie. Oh, damn it. Oh, it's just as well you drew back, actually. Good shot. Alright, how are things going over here, then? Mm. Starting to peek through. Well done, Horror Story. There is a fire, there, yes. Thank you for noticing. Uh, Iceberg is out in the middle there, and I'm completely okay with Iceberg being taken out. If you could, please. Come on, again. Uh, eventually, they are going to hit Valerie with that. Uh, Valerie, pull back for now. Just draw back and put out the fire where you can. Let them advance. How are things going? Horror Story's doing her best, bless her. Uh, draw back a little bit if you could, Horror Story. Let them approach. Um, actually, that's a decent angle there. Very decent angle. This is this is difficult running two fights like this. Uh, okay, 
Valerie, put out the worst of the fires if you can, and then take some shots. Alright. How are things going down here? Dark Avac, I don't want to get you too close because Chaos and Yoko might peek out into a dumb place and get shot. Uh, well, Horror Story, uh, it looks like you're the one winning this. Breathing is weakened, talking, eating, consciousness, you're in severe pain. Fighting at all for you is going to be difficult, which is very fortunate for us. Uh, I don't want you to move out there, honestly, because that would probably end poorly. Oh, well done. Right, Valerie, draw back for now. Right back. That's right. And keep drawing back if you would be so kind. Oh, dear, they've got a shiv. Uh, that's fine. Take another shot. Uh, honestly, we've, we've, we've done this before. Keep drawing back. Keep leading them to you. How's that go? everything going down there? Not too bad. Keep drawing back, Valerie. There we go. You are much faster than they are. Well done. Perfect kiting. Truly perfect. And now they're setting fire to our crops. Well, that's fine. Uh, for the time being, it is. Get down there. Take a couple of shots. Well done. Uh, honestly, go for the easy kills. It'll demoralize them. We can just leave this colony soon anyway. Right, now's your chance, Atlas. Yeah, that, that fight is actually pretty amusing. You're both mostly missing each other, which is a little bit silly, but sure. Um, how about you, Horror Story? Let's have a look at you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're only actually hitting them every now and then. Valerie has been wounded, though. Stabbed in the shiv twice. Uh, stabbed in the shiv. Stabbed by a shiv twice. <gasps> Quickly. Well done. And it looks like they're actually breaking. I'm okay for to let them do that. Put out the fires, please. Uh, and now that that's done, I can focus on this battle much clo more closely. Come on, Horror Story. You can do this. Well done. Very well done. That now means you can step up. Uh, let's get you forward so you can take a couple of shots. Oh, that looked almost on point there, but unfortunately just out. It's a very, very intense gun battle here. I, I, I don't know why, but fighting with revolvers just seems so cool. Uh, right, let's move both of you up. There we go, let's get you into position. From here, you should be able to take a couple of uh, good shots. Oh, Valerie's on a food binge. Um, okay, Atlas... Try your best. Uh, could you put these fires out as a priority instead? The crops don't matter. We're leaving soon. But what does matter... Well, actually, none of this matters, really, I guess. Uh, still, if you can try and work on that, that would be great. Uh, do your best now. Try not to be hit. Uh, where are you aiming? You're going for horror story. That's fine. It's not fine. Draw back horror story. There we are. That's all you need to be. Good. Move up, and draw further back. Get out of there. No, Yoko. Yoko, don't. Yoko, no. Oh, oh I was worried. Move. That's fine. They should be extremely worried at that point. Well done, both of you. You can both move up. We've only got... Who have we got? You've got ooh, some nasty ones, actually. Okay, pull back. Pull well back. You don't... Those are close-range weapons. We have the advantage here, so make use of it. Dark Avak, be ready to pounce. There we are. And open fire. Come on, guys. Try your best now. Uh, right. Draw back. I want you to move in this direction. And Dark Avak is about to rush... Go for it. Just get out there as quickly as you can. Also, release the hounds. Uh, well done. Yoko and Chaos took out Al, uh, Ali, and that, that caused them to break. Uh, you did get punched in the front right leg. Eh, it's fine. Uh, honestly, honestly, you guys can go back. Dark Havoc and the, the Wags will finish up the leftovers. Uh, go for it. 
There we go. You're not getting away. That's just not happening. That is not a thing that is about to transpire. No, no. Uh, right. Well, we've got two, three potential captives. Let's have a look. Teetotaler, trigger happy, psychically dull. That's not terrible. Incapable of none. That's also a good plus. Trigger happy, nudist, pessimist. Now, two what I would consider negative qualities in, in terms of the game. Uh, the game. Uh, gay teetotaler, again, um, not bad traits. Gay, any kind of sexual orientation only has limited effect on the gameplay. There are things to, to bear in mind, but for the most part, I consider it kind of a, 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 as um, a non-issue as heterosexuality, which isn't even a trait because it's such of a non-issue. Um, the only thing to be aware of with um, the homosexual traits is that it can lead to a lot of unhappiness if the other people, if, if there's no potential partner in the colony, but there are people of the preferred gender there, but they, they're just not interested, because it, it, they will try to woo people, and it can lead to them having very serious negative moodlets as a result of constantly being rebuffed. So it is something to, to bear in mind. Uh, but for the most part, it's just nice not to have a negative trait. Um, so usually, uh, when I when I see something like that, that that's honestly my my response is like, oh, okay, well, it's, again, it's, it's no no different read really from having a heterosexual person. And by the same token, if everyone in your colony was gay, and you had the option of taking on a colonist who wasn't, bear that in mind that they will probably try to woo people who just won't be interested in having a relationship with them. And so it can lead to lots of negative moodlets. But that's really the only thing that sexual orientation seems to have a bearing on in the game that I've I've noticed. Uh, we would like to bring that back. Uh, that one, I guess. Uh, the grenades, the chain shotguns, absolutely. And a good chain shotgun, especially. Uh, could you bring that one in? Uh, you know what? The Ambrosia as well wouldn't be too bad. But of these, that one is pretty messed up. That one's not particularly good. That one's probably the only decent weapon there. I'm going to say Fernanda is probably one of the best people to take. But that does come down to health. You're going to be dead very soon, though. Honestly, I think uh, it would only be with Dark Avak carrying you that you're going to even have a chance of survival, so... I'll try it. Um, I guess that's going to be a prisoner room for now, then. Right, capture them, please. As for Horror Story, if you could go and bring in the, the Chain Shocker, that would be great. Uh, Yoko will be treated as soon as she gets back. On the whole, that wasn't a terribly bad situation, though it's getting a little bit warm in here, I'm going to be honest. Could you take care of these one after the other? Uh, no? Yes? No? It doesn't appear so. Let's speed things up a little bit. Okay, let's just try and get the worst of this fire dealt with. That one, that one, then that one. All right, Dark Avag, have you managed to get them back? Good, you are treating them. They may survive yet. Okay. Yeah, they, they're going to survive. Well done. Uh, of course, Yoko getting getting Glitter World meds. Well done, Ruska. You're already uh, ingratiating yourself with, with the host. Dark Avag will have noticed that you used the correct meds on Yoko. Uh, right. Valerie's no longer picking on food. That's good. Where is Atlas? Could you treat Valerie, please? That's the main thing that I would like to happen there. There we go. All right, with that, Valerie, what do you need? Like, you need rest. Okay, well, you, you rest then. Uh, Atlas, it doesn't matter to me. Most of this doesn't matter, but... Go ahead, just put out the fire, I guess, if you really want to. Uh, Valerie, how are your needs going right now? Your mood is starting to improve very slightly. But we need to get out of this uh, this psychic drone. <sighs> All right. 
it is high time. As much as I want to put it, put off and use the um, use the drop pods, we're just going to leave. I don't think it makes any sense for people to, to hang around any longer. So with that in mind, let's go ahead, form caravan. Uh, everyone is coming along except for the chick who's going to massively slow us down. Sorry, chick. Uh, right, let's grab as much vegetables as we can. Also the eggs, actually. Uh, well, we could bring along some venison. I mean, at, the, at worst, it, it, it won't be terrible, at least. Uh, bring along the herbal meth. <laughs> I guess I could send along with wake up there as well. Uh, is there anything else we really want to... Oh, yeah, of course. The joy wire, bionic spine, scyther blade, bionic eyes, simple prosthetic animal leg, and animal bionic eye. There we go. In terms of everything else, I mean, we could bring along some extra meat, but it's not really that important to me. I'd rather bring along the plasteel than anything else, really. Okay, and with that... Accept... Yes. Uh, yes. No, it's fine. It's not that far away. I think it's only... A, in fact, I think it might actually be that long. Yeah, 4.7 days. That's not too bad. Works out well. It's going to take you a little bit to get everything set up, though. Um, I'm just I'm just going to remove this from the home zone. No longer in the home zone. Just take... take no? C can you? There we go. Uh, Dune has set itself on fire. Well done, Dune. <sighs> Hopefully... C could someone put Dune out? Atlas, can you put Dune out? There we go. By beating Dune. Dune, you're gonna be slow now. Damn it! Uh, well... Dune, stop doing that! Stop playing with fire! Okay, it looks like everyone's ready to go. Actually, Dune's moving reasonably fast. The cows are going to take the, the, the time to move them. Oh, such a shame that we lost the second. But, ah, well. It's one of those things. It's not always going to go our way. And with that, Gossamer's End. One of the, the prettiest named colonies that we've had so far. That's it. It's gone. It's done. Uh, estimated time to destination only 3.8 days. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. You've got plenty of food for that. Okay. Uh, prosthesis trader. Oh. That might not be too too bad either. Go ahead and contact the prosthesis trader. Let's have a look then. Um, I would love to actually sell things to you, but alas, no. Power claw wouldn't be too bad, but we don't have nearly enough money for this. Uh, medical rib replacement, steel arm, eye patch. No, nothing really. Oh well. It was worth having a look. At the very least. Uh, how's everything else going along? Not too terribly bad. Uh, I really would love it if someone would come along and just wipe these things out. Oh, precision turrets research. Well done. And take care of that one, then this one, and then the other one. You know, just so that. They don't wake up later on and, and, and murder us all in our sleep. Uh, Flurgles, could you work on breaking them down, actually? That would be great. Uh, how's everything going? Okay, I feel that what we need to do is restrict where the food is being placed so that that will be moved out there instead. We are planting the hay grass, which is good. Uh, let's take all of this apart. We don't want this little room anymore. Just move all of it out. There we go. And you are going to copy... Uh, which one is it? That one's always keep at least 50. Oh, uh, we're going to copy... Copy that one. There we go. And over here, we're going to paste that in. There we are. Perfect. Uh, right, at this point, I would like... Uh, the corpse is butchered, which should help. Uh, no longer incapable of walking, that's always good. Let's make sure that you're actually having some friendly chats. Recruitment chance is reasonably high, you know what? Let's go straight up to 
Yeah, channel recruit. Already doing it. Well done, you. The rest of them, they're just gonna have to die. Uh, there we go. Are we actually researching something good? We are. Okay, well, it isn't terrible. Uh, it's n nor is it good, particularly, but it's it's certainly not terrible. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's pretty cold outdoors. How are you chickens doing? You're not actually suffering too much. I'm happy about that. Quite happy. Uh, now, the corpses... Uh, I feel that if we want to manage people's moods, we're going to have to just accept and prepare a little area that I'm thinking probably around here for a crematorium. How big are they? So two by three? Yes, it is good. That'll do. Uh, being left and harvested, that's fine. Mad animal, apparently. A timber wolf has gone gone bonkers. Uh, sure. You're going to die. There is no... No world in which you were going to survive that. Have we got a timber wolf? I think we do, don't we? Uh, huskies, lots of huskies, lots of husky but Yeah, we do have a timber wolf. Uh, I mean, I'm not against it. Sure, okay, you can try. Uh, Flugels, do you want to try and rescue this timber wolf? We'll see. Well, we'll see what we can do. Worst thing will happen, someone's going to die. It's going to wake up and eat someone. And uh, that's just a, just a risk I'm willing to take. Hopefully, we can. hopefully it doesn't kill someone, but uh, we'll see. Uh, right, Mojave has got cirrhosis. I'm not even remotely surprised. I I wish I could be, but I'm not. Okay. Oh, have we finished all research? We have. Um, very well then. Let's start working our way through the research tree if we can. Let's just grab those ones first. We're, at, we're making some pretty solid progress on research at the moment. That I'm extremely pleased with, I must confess. Extremely. Uh, right, okay, so. How are things going down here? Not terribly badly. I, I If I'm honest, uh, it's actually going reasonably well. Some pork is gone, though, which is unfortunate. Uh, right, hopefully we can get all of that stored for now. Just kept in there. Okay. More roofs has collapsed, probably on the bugs. Hey, it doesn't really ma matter. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, corn planters died. Yeah, they will. They will. Right. Uh, let's see. How's everything going in there? Rhapsody's making plenty more meals. Good. Rhapsody, could you work on this instead? There we are. Perfect. Super perfect. Now please be making... No, no, that is no longer perfect. I'll try it. Uh, you make it out of anything. Go ahead. Just, just, just get it made. Go ahead. Anything at all is fine. Just make. In fact, don't use the hay. We need that more. Go ahead and make plenty of kibble, please. We've got enough. No... Rhapsody, why? Drop it on the floor. Womp womp. Now, carry on. And please haul that urgently. Fire? Where? Ah, drat! Super drat! Alright. Um, extinguish the fire on the hen. Quickly! Rush! Rush before it dies! Stupid trees! <sighs> okay, um, please tend the hen. And also, stupid trees. Why did I leave the trees inside? Let's get this sorted, shall we? There we go. Oh no, did, did one of them already die? Ah, oh, rip. Rip. Spoils in 10 days. Uh, Timberwolf Revenge. Ah. Really? Well... I guess it's just fate that that's going to happen. But, given that we've just lost our rooster, let's make a little uh, area down here. Specifically for eggs. And oh, for some reason, my, my mouse is constantly changing its uh, DPI settings. I'm going to have to look at that. There's something 
something's up definitely uh clear all i am sorry that it's gonna look like i'm 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 very awkward moving the mouse around right now as a result of this but we'll we'll see uh right i would like eggs please and thank you um it should be under animal products i guess yeah eggs fertilized this one should not store fertilized eggs there we are and that is now a top priority to be moved please get those 16 eggs out of the freezer if you can uh you okay yeah you sort of are could you move it there we go that'll do and you're probably okay um oh, almost time where did you put it um what did you use it for oh dear oh dear you you ate it well that's not quite what i intended for you to do but sure now i'm gonna forbid them and there we go yoko has given birth to alberto and hitomi is it hitomi or hitorni no hitomi there we go oh so sweet Right, well, we need you to be safe at all times. Um, oh my goodness, we've got puppies! Finally happened! It only took us, like, the entire series to see that, that occur. Um, right, puppies staying at home. Not going anywhere else. Uh, oh, that means we need animal beds for you as well. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a look into this. For now, though, we'll just give you regular animal beds. Uh, there we are, Hitomi and Alberto. There we go. Sort it. Oh, uh, what? No. What? No. Bad. Naughty. That is not its place to sleep. Uh, Rose has been torn to death. What? Ah. Uh... I. I. I guess that does make sense. Um, well, no, we can't, we, we can't, we can't allow something like that to happen. Wilson, put it down. <sighs> Much sadness. Much great sadness. Oh, we don't even have a place to put you. Uh, okay. Well, it's probably going to be one of the, the final sargophagi in this uh this area actually thinking about it let's get that in mind i can't even see that we can mine it we might not even be able to take care of it group of mechanoids from a mechanoid hive are attacking immediately wait no oh no i clicked on the wrong thing pause pause we need to find out where they are are they attacking you i don't see them oh no that's actually Kind of frightening. Well, it would have to be you, actually. Uh, yeah, there we are. Yeah, we are. Well, it, it would be the other one. It, what it couldn't be is Valerie or Atlas because they're out and about wandering in. Right, well, I mean, it's not, not terrible, I suppose. Horror story, let's get you out there. Also, Ruska, let's get you out there. Oh, actually, do we have... Uh... Yes, we do. Go and equip that, please quickly actually we shouldn't be outside get back inside please because they're gonna just take aim and, and shoot us yeah exactly that's what i was worried about all right come along then we need them to approach a little bit closer uh all right where are you going okay good dark ava get out there go take it down uh, go nearby-ish. Alright, it should go down fairly quickly. Uh, actually, horror story, you head up. You and Ruska should be able to manage this, I would imagine. Come on. How badly has Dark Havoc been hurt? You've been hit by a charge, Lance. And this thing has just been torn apart by Yoko, Chaos, and Dark Havoc. Well done. Uh, sure, let's... Actually, you guys can stay there. Horror Story. Let's move you up there. Ruska, let's get you up there as well. Let's wait for them. 
where is the other? Where? There we are. Tony's popped in the, the room there. Oh, no. It's coming for us. Oh, fine. We'll get in there and melee attack then. Let's go. Get down here. Thank you. Release the works! Uh, honestly, actually, I'm not sure I trust you enough to uh, use such a damaging weapon when there's a good chance you'll you'll hit one of the wags. Uh Right, okay, that wasn't that wasn't so bad, all things considered. There we go. Not too bad, I must say. Uh, ooh, have you got? No, we can only shut it down. Oh, that's a shame. Wouldn't mind taking the side of the blade there. Okay, I thought I was just going to chill out for a little bit, you know, just just stare up at the, the world. But I'd, I'd really rather you tend to yourself, honestly. That way, at least, you can uh, avoid the possibility of an infection. Which would be rather awful, I must say. Uh, a bug hive has reproduced itself, and it's going to continue to reproduce itself for a very long time, I imagine. All right, there we go. Things should be a little bit better down there. This is a ride at Stitchy and Sanctuary, however, they're worried about the insect. No, you're fine. Come on in. Come in. We will accept you. Now. Uh, how else are things going? Generally quite well, actually. Very well, in fact. Let's get all of these moved. Somewhere else. As soon as you can, please. Let's move all of that down. Well done, Flurgles. Very well done, in fact. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, let's go and have a look at how things are going over here. Not terribly bad. Uh, I really would rather you guys didn't eat those eggs if you could avoid it. Thank goodness you have moved off. Now then, what we're going to... Ooh. Mm, no, I'm afraid I'm going to have to send you away. We also need to prepare for the arrival of our companions. Uh, sure, that one can be brought in, I guess. Uh, we are going to need... Actually, how much human leather do we have? We've got 75. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Start as you mean to go on, I always say. And our youngest wags are going to have human leather beds. Oh, this couldn't possibly work out better. Uh, right, can you please work on that for me, Dark Avak? There we go. How good is it? Oh, it's a poor human leather bed. I'm a bit disappointed, I must confess. Uh, normal, at least. How much more have we got? Only 15. Uh, I mean, human leather is important. It's important that our, our little wags uh, get the very, very comfiest of beds. So Alberto and Hitomi. There we go. That'll do. Uh, we're going to need some more wood, actually. So let's go ahead and get some of that carved up right now. Uh, additionally, I am a little bit concerned about uh, the the wooden walls here. I've already seen one fire. I'd rather not have to see any more, if I'm perfectly honest. What's holding us up there, Steel? Alright, okay. Well, you're butchering, but once you're done with that, I would like you to come down here and mine a little bit more steel down there. There we go. Shouldn't take too long to get everything sorted out. There we are. Uh, of course, we definitely want the wags tamed as well. There we go. How are you doing then? You're probably not going to be too hard to recruit as things stand. Uh, oh, 0.82% chance. Hmm. Okay, maybe I've underestimated how hard it's going to be to recruit you. Still, I'm fairly confident that it's going to happen. Uh, additionally, I would a I would actually like uh, another paved tile right about there. Uh, solar generator breaking down. Yeah, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. And Dark Avac is fully healed. Excellent. All right, how far out are you guys? You are only 1.6 days away. That's not too bad. I think that shouldn't be too, too difficult to uh, get everything set up, honestly. Now, I'm hoping that you're reasonably pretty happy in, in your environment. Uh, no, ugly environment. Well, okay. My rival Kimmy died, though, and I've got a spacious interior. Uh, you know, good with the bad. 
Oh, it is finished. Right, now, before that, then, we're going to need to sort out this little area. And because, if we don't, the odds of getting food poisoning will be pretty, pretty high, I would say. Uh, that being said, now it's done. Let's go ahead and start preparing some meals, then. So, first and foremost, I would like this to be set up to until we have... Let's say, let's go for 40 meals and we'll unpause at, fifth, well, no, sure, we'll go unpause at 20, that's fine. Uh, these can just be basic meals. Uh, anything that, that anyone would be willing to eat can go into that. There we go. Next up, fine meals. I would like fine meals to happen first. I would like this to be done until this one, some less than that. We'll go for 30, and we'll unpause at 10 on this one. However, I will allow insect jelly in this. I will additionally... Yeah, just pr pretty much the same thing we've got there. Finally, we're going to add in lavish meals. Now, the lavish meals are going to be very special. Do until we have 10. Uh, and unpause at five. That's fine. However, the only thing I want going into this lavish meal, human meat and vegetables. Uh, insect jelly as well. There we go. And in fact, we're going to rename this one. Not a cooked lavish meal. Um, dark Avax Fanciest Noms. Perfect. I approve. Also, that should be top priority. There we go. All is set. Uh, right. Oh, Dark Alex straight away making some uh, regular meals. Well done. Also training our newest members of the colony. Ah, oh, it's truly grand. I'm extremely happy with this. Extremely. Uh, oh, something's happening. Uh, an item stash opportunity. Orbital power beam targeter. I mean, I would like it. I would. How far away is that? I don't even know where that is. Oh, okay, I see it. <laughs> Quite far away. Very far away, in fact. Right. Bug hive is continuing to reproduce itself. It's worrying. I'll be honest. We do need to deal with that reasonably soon at that. Uh, I think things are going to get a bit nasty before too long. I really would love it if you would clean this floor, frankly. Can I perhaps convince you to do that? There we go. Let's get all of this sorted. There we are. Because, again, it's just going to be bad otherwise. Uh, could you continue work on this? Uh, no, apparently not. Run out of food for cow too. Really? Oof. Well, that happened a lot sooner than I expected, I'll be honest with you. Very bad. Yeah, everyone's getting a little bit upset now. There are hungry animals, and in fact, probably going to be hungry people too. Uh, oh well. Our hen is fully healed and is eating the prisoner's food. I I don't know what to say. I, I think I approve though. Uh, let's get all of this sorted, please. Let's go ahead. Bom, bom, bom. There we are. And can, can I not get you just to finish all of this work? I should be able to get that to happen. There we are. And get the last couple things done. And hopefully, we won't have you having to have a, a filthy room. There we go. Sorted. There we are. And how many meals are you making up to? You're making up to 40 meals. That's, that's fine. That should be good enough. All right. How's everything going outside? We're getting the, the food coming in. Uh, and the wood is being made as well. Okay, pretty, pretty happy looking at uh, the development of this little colony. However, we are going to need to set up some new quarters for those who are about to arrive. So let's start with that, shall we? We'll probably do something very similar. In fact, we'll just copy this over. Build copy and then build copy right there. Now the rooms are going to be off to the side. Uh, 
Fernando is going to be joining us reasonably soon. So we're going to want to prepare for this. I kind of feel that if we're doing this... No, we, we need this to be a large room if we're doing that. Something like this should do, I think. I we'll have one door here. No, that's not going to be Fernando's area. Uh, but we will have... Something like this, and then like that. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. A couple of extra um, individual rooms and a double room. I think that'll be pretty solid. Now, the reason why I haven't taken that up to the same length is because I'd like to do this. I think it's going to be really important for us to clad the outer edge of the, uh, the main building with stone to avoid situations where a fire starts. We've seen how bad that can go. Uh, so let's get that sorted as quickly as possible, please. And Rocket Complex has been completed. But you know what? I think we're going to wrap up this episode there. We, again, good bit of work done on this little uh, colony here. Considering it's meant to be temporary, they, they, they never really are temporary. Not for me. Let, let's be honest. We, I, I don't seem to be capable of making a temporary, temporary base. Even my mining temporary bases tend to be fairly well uh, built up. But we will probably limit the expansion, at least to the, this little area. We might not even uh, get farming on the go. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully we do. Just so that we, we can prepare a lot of uh, package survivor meals to move forward. Because I would love to get people out of Stygian Sanctuary as soon as possible. But that is going to be it from me. I hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next. But until then, do take care, everyone.